Now, everybody who's watching, let's get RBT to 500,000 subscribers by Christmas. He's the best Madden scientist there is. I subscribe to him, and if you don't subscribe to, your favorite team is gonna lose to the I'm not saying that team. So basically, either one of two things are gonna happen in tonight's video. Number one, we're either gonna break the world record mutt draft here in Madden 20, or number two, I'm gonna I'm gonna give away codes to you guys. So that would mean, on top of buying the six consoles for the giveaway here on the channel, spending like over a thousand dollars for all the drafts I've gotten like celebrities to do for the channel, and on top of doing the one thousand dollar pack opening we did on the channel a few days ago, I'm about to go broke. So hopefully, what happens today is I break the world record mutt draft. As yes, my dudes, very simple tonight once again. A lot of you have been tweeting at me telling me that the world record has been broken and apparently we need to hit an 88 rated draft here on Madden 20 to break and have the world record for Madden 20 Mutt Drafts. And if we don't hit an 88 rated draft within the first three at Simps, I'm going to have to give away codes to you guys in the comment section. I'm not going to put them in the video. What we will do is for some reason within three drafts, I don't hit the 88 rated draft. I'm telling you guys, I am the draft king. So there's a very good possibility that I do break the world record. But if we don't today, within the hour this video goes live, there will be codes in the comment section below for you guys to claim that is the forfeit for today's video. So, hopefully you guys appreciate it and appreciate the, the opportunity here. But if you guys do, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a huge thumbs up. Let's see if we can go for 2,000 likes in the first hour for today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Extremely important that you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't because we do hit 500k by New Year's. My Christmas giveaway is going to be up to 4 Xbox One X's and 4 PS4 Pros. I already have the 3 Xbox One X's and 3 PS4 Pros ready to give away. Still haven't made the post on Instagram. I will probably tonight. If not tonight, for sure tomorrow. So we have a ton of stuff to be giving away on the channel. Just make sure to subscribe. Because like I said, if we do hit 500k by Christmas, we're going to add one console each to the Christmas giveaway. Now, with that said, my dudes, it's now time to jump into today's first draft. Like I said, three drafts. Three attempts to break the world record 88 rated draft. Last time we got an 87 rated draft on the brink of having a giveaway code. I literally have no idea how that happened, but it did. And here we are, first draft attempt. Got to get that 88 rated. So with that, let's go with the 49ers head coach, Kyle Shanahan. I think that was the only playoff bound coach in the first round. So here, obviously, the first few rounds always kind of draft themselves. Buster Scry will pick him 87 rated cornerback. We need like two or three solid cornerbacks to have a high rated draft here easily. 89 rated Adam Timmerman at the right guard position. Let's see here, round number three, of course, the highest rated, 92 rated Travis Frederick. We need more of those here. We'll take an 88 rated Tyron Smith. We need to start getting some defensive players here. As I say that, we get 89 rated TJ Watt with the highest rated out of that round. Here, the running back round, I mean, that's not awful. You need at least a 90. Maybe a 90 isn't even enough to get the 88 rated draft, but a 90's not bad out of the running back round. Might could upgrade that later. Here, round seven, might as well. Ooh, we already got an 89 rated TJ Watt in that position. Obviously, we could swap him to the right side. The reason I'm going to go with Corey Littleton is because the number one and two middle linebacker spots do count towards your overall, so that's not bad to have as a number two middle linebacker. Round number eight, not too great. I just rhymed. You can call me Ed Allen, bro. Into round nine, like this is just not giving me that great of players. But at this point, in the last draft, in the last draft video, I thought the draft was dead. And we ended up hitting an 87 rated draft, which was the world record at the time. But I feel the same way here, but that means maybe an 88 rated coming here. Now we get our first wide receiver, 86 Leo Jones. We're just getting subpar rated cards here. Although 91 Jameis isn't awful. I think we did get 92 rated in the last draft to get the 87 rated. So I don't, I don't think this is going to be the one, but it hasn't been a bad start. I mean, some crazy things could happen here in the last eight or so rounds. I guess we go with another wide receiver. I already have a running back and a tight end at this point. Round 15. Tough one. I guess we go with the highest rated left tackle because he can swap over to the right tackle and be higher rated than Lyle Collins. So Ronnie Stanley is the pick. Need some big players here. 91 Robert Woods going to add him to the wide receiver core. Round 17 here. We need a free safety, so we will grab ourselves Merton Hanks. 88 rated free safety. Need some 92s, 93s, and 91 right guard will take that Brandon Brooks. We can move him over to left guard, so he should help out that overall quite a bit. Round 19, we have, this would be our third and hopefully final cornerback. We're only at like an 84 rated at this point, which is kind of subpar. I guess here what we do, we grab Zadarius Smith, 90 overall, and move him to the right side, because this has not been, not have been a good draft here. Round 21, I guess we go, I mean, I don't know what to do here. We're already going to have, that's going to be six offensive linemen, I think. 
So I think we, we can't get with him. I think the only thing we can do, I mean, do we grab him? I mean, why not? We, we have a dog. We have a dog that has entered the room. 94 Barry Sanders. I mean, this draft has been a complete bust. After the coach round, what are we going to end up with? An 85. An 85 rated draft. What an awful start. We did get an 88 overall offense, but not even nearly close to that 88 rated draft that we do need to get here to break the record. So draft number two, I think we're going to rock with Mike Brabel, my favorite head coach. Head coach of my Tennessee Titans. Hopefully, that's some good luck. Just give me some good players. Start me off good. Not, I mean, incredible here. We'll take an 88 overall, Calais Campbell. Round to the running back round again. Bro, this is like, I feel like the other drafts were better than this. Like, the last draft I did was, like, more juice than this one. I don't understand. Anyways, Canoe Neal, Keanu Neal, rather. Pick him in round number three. Round number four, we'll take 90 overall, Trent Williams. Come on, give me some 92, some 93s here. Tight end, I guess. We'll, where do we go? We'll take, we'll take Austin Hooper here. We can take some better wide receivers than what we just got. Okay, this is a good QB round. I think we did, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think we did pick Tom Brady, the draft where we did get an 87 rated, so I guess for some good luck, we'll take him again. Round seven, I guess we'll take a D-tackle, Quinn Williams here, into round eight. Come on now, 92 rated, AJ Boye. We'll take that one, that's a lot better than what we got last freaking draft. Here, 90 rated Bruce Matthews. Okay, things are finally starting to heat up here. Round 10, 90 rated AJ Green. I'm liking what I'm seeing, my dudes. Oh, we already have a tight end. Like, this is stupid. Why does it give me a tight end round when I already have a tight end? Thing is here, though, I guess, I think the backup tight end can technically play fullback, which should help our overall. So I guess, I think then George Kittle would probably be the best fullback. I have no idea. Round 12, oh God, it's going downhill. Like, why is it giving me day one draft cards? Like, this is a round I would expect when the game was launched, not in freaking December. So, Eddie Jackson, that's the pick. Round 14, this is starting to feel extremely demoralizing. We already have a D tackle. Do we go right tackle here? I really don't know what to do. I guess we go right tackle. Round 15, give me some good players. Tyron Matthew, we already have a strong safety. God, it's just giving me, like, positions that I already have drafted. I mean, I guess Robert Woods could help us out. 91 rated wide receiver. Be our wide receiver number three, which should help out the overall a little bit. Round 17. This could be kind of helpful. Robert Quinn at the right end position. With some 92s, please. We need a middle linebacker. AJ Johnson, 88 rated. I don't even think we're going to get an 87 again. We need an outside linebacker, so I guess we take Jamie Collins here. Two 95s, please. Oh, my gosh. Here... We need a right outside linebacker, so we'll take KJ right. We need a couple corners here in these last few rounds. Round 21, we don't get a corner. We get a center, Corey Lindsley, which we can take. We need a big rated corner here. Or a freaking fullback or a tight end. Literally, so stupid. Number one doesn't give me an NFL 100 player. Number two, we, we don't need a fullback. We don't need a tight end. And we don't need a strong safety. So why is it giving me those players? I guess the only thing that could potentially help me overall here is Christian Okoye, 92 rated fullback. This is probably, I don't, wouldn't even be surprised if this was not an 87 rated draft. It comes in at an 86 rated. 85 defense, 88 offense. Oh my god, dude. To avoid giving away more money on the channel. Somehow, some way. After two awful drafts to start the video, we have to increase this overall by two to avoid giving away freaking money. I swear, dude. EA just, just does not like me. So here we go, dude. The suspense is on. We have to get a good draft here, my dudes. We go with my favorite head coach again, Mike Vrabel, head coach of the Tennessee Titans. We need to win the last week to make the playoffs. We're going to pick him. Hopefully, it's a good omen, my dudes. Round one. Okay, that's a good start. 92 rated Zach Ertz. Now, the tight end round's out of the way, so we know not to take a tight end. And that's a really good tight end, probably the best tight end in all the draft. So, that's actually a really, really good start here. We shall grab a D tackle because two D tackles count towards the team overall. This has been an extremely good start, dudes. The pressure's on. It all comes down to this. Okay, so an 88 rated right in. Dwight Freeney will grab you up. Give me 90 plus players. And there we go. 92, Adrian Amos. This has been all oh, the running back round is trash. 87, Joe Mixon. I think we need a 90 plus running back to get the 88. Here, we don't have a wide receiver yet. But I think we need higher than the 84 as a 1, 2, or 3 receiver to be a, have a really good overall. So I guess we go with another offensive lineman, Kevin Zietler. Come on, give me some juice rounds here. 87 Jordan Hicks, not bad for the middle linebacker position. Could play middle linebacker 1 or 2. We haven't got a corner yet, so I guess an 85 wouldn't be bad for number 2 or 3 corner. Round 10, 
this was pretty trash. Pretty freaking trash. Bud Dupree, 87 overall. Need some big juice rounds here. So wide receiver, Kenny Stills and the 89 rated. Okay, the first wide receiver we've taken, not bad. Round 12, we already have a bunch of O-linemen. Now we can take Zach Martin. He's the highest rated and he can play left guard. So I think that's the best bet here. So we'll take him. So not a complete wasted pick. So here we oh, We already have a running back. We could use a second wide receiver. We already have a higher rated tight end, so that would be a wasted pick. So I guess Jakeem Grant, honestly, the smartest move here. Round 14, 92 rated Cam Newton. Okay, that could have been so much worse. I think that is that the highest rated quarterback you can get in draft at this point? So we get ourselves a good cornerback round. Mel Renfro, 89 overall. This is gonna this is gonna calm down the freaking wire, dudes. We need a free safety, so that's not a wasted pick. 86 for Marcus Joyner. Come on, EA Sports. 90 plus players. 90 plus players. Ugh. We need another D tackle. I guess Quinn Williams is the move. Man, this is this is gonna be extremely close. This is gonna be our third wide receiver, so we can't get any more wide receivers after this. So DeAndre Hopkins, welcome to the squad. 88 overall, and just like that, like this is the round that pissed me off because we don't need another wide receiver. We have three wide receivers, so why give me a wide receiver round? So this is a pretty much a complete wasted pick. We need a miracle here, so that's good. 92 rated Denzel Ward, that's extremely good. Round 21, oh. So I guess one more O-lineman wouldn't be awful here, Larry Allen. We have three right guards, but it can be converted to other positions. So we need something huge here, something huge. All right, so what do we do here? We already have a free safety, so we already have a running back, but the running back position is an 87, but Bobby Bell could come in at a position that we have a 75 rated player at. So I know Jim Brown would be huge, obviously, because we have an 87 running back, but I think the improvement towards our overall is bigger from adding a 94 overall linebacker where we have a 75 than it would adding a 94 running back at a position where we already have an 87. So this, we are obviously gonna have some some positions be converted around. It says 86, but obviously it's gonna change here. So Bobby Bell, have to get the extra coach round. Let's just go with Kyle Shanahan. It's going to, it's really not even gonna go up. Bro, these drafts were so bad. Literally, they were so bad. I feel depressed. Depression. I feel, I feel depression is what I feel. Bro, we actually just freaking, we're, we have to give away money. So, within the next hour, there's going to be codes in the comment section. Oh, man. One like equals one prayer for me.